When I teach about the voice, I talk about how it's 50% air getting to the vocal cords and 50% what the vocal cords do with that air. So the ratio between air and vocal cords is very, very important if you wanna be a great singer or you wanna be a great speaker. Basically what happens is the air comes up to the cords and the cords are supposed to be closed and stop the air. And so the air and the cords fight and the cords say, you're not getting through. And the air says, oh, I'm getting through. And the cords say, not on my watch. And then more air builds up and then more air. And then eventually, boom, the cords can't handle it. So the air passes through the vocal cords and it vibrates the cords. And then that air passes through them and comes out as sound. That's what singing and speaking is all about. Most people speak too airy. So their vocal cords are open and they're just letting so much air come through. But air dissipates in the air and then people can't really feel your voice. It's not strong enough, it's not powerful enough. So I talk about, I want more edge. And more edge is the sound of more cord stopping more air. I want you to air on the side of edge because that edge sound really carries your voice into the room and it vibrates people's bodies. That's important. That's why I say speaking is a physical connection. How do you get more edge? Practice by listening to me and saying words like can and feel that buzz in the very, very back part of your throat. Can as opposed to can. Try it again. Can. You know it's right if it feels easy. Then try to stretch it out. Can. I can. I can if I want. Practice that. Get that edge in your voice and you will sound amazing. It's you getting the most out of the chords and dealing with the way air and chords are supposed to meet and have a great time.